you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Maxon. I know we've just uh, done about 10 minutes of the podcast. How is that? How's that record button, Russell? Is it? Is it? What's record, Max? I don't, I don't know, know what this is. I'm so sorry, Maxon. <laughs> at least, at least, no one had to listen to the terrible audible dot com uh, ad read, and we'll forget audible. about com? that. What's audible dot com? What's audible Oh, Max, just go into the description below and you get an audio book. There we is, go. Is, That's it. That's it? it. No more. No more, Max. No. That's, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Okay. I've had a good joke and everything. It was really funny last time. I know it was. Oh, well. but we're... <laughs> it's gone forever. It's gone in the ether. It was to do with Amazons and Diana. Not not Princess Diana. Well, she's Wonder a... Woman Diana. Well, she's a princess. She's also a princess. Do 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 do. <laughs> do you think that's how like her name came about? Like I'll name my daughter after Diana, but Wonder I... Woman. Don't... And then she became a princess. <laughs> I I doubt it. I would have to do research. <laughs> <laughs> You get working on that, Max. Let's cook some babies or whatever. I Let's cook some BBUs. Yeah. What's up, guys? That's seven here. Three times faster. Episode 30. We've got Max. Hello. Yeah. So, you may be wondering why we weren't didn't have a show last week. Well, here's a here's a dead uh, GPU. Ah, oh, that's great. But how does that relate to the story? <laughs> That that's the story. We couldn't record, therefore. Oh, because that's supposed to be in your computer. That's supposed to be in in there, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Annoyingly, so after taking this apart, I couldn't actually get all the plastic parts in because you have to do something called bake a CPU. This is because all the soldering connections between the GPU and the uh, the connector parts, the soldering between there is like moved over time. Technical. Yeah. I'm a very technical guy, Max, and if you didn't know. But, so apparently you can just bake this in the oven and, you know, cook it at like 200 degrees. Five minutes, ten minutes later, comes out. Hopefully all the soldering's gone back where it should be. But I can't do that. Oh, well. Hopefully. Life goes on. Hmm? Hopefully. Hopefully. Or it just smells really bad in the house for a good, you know, three days. That's the other option. Oh, lovely. So, Max. Hello. How have you been this week? Uh, I'm not been topping too bad. Uh, it's next week I'm dreading. Why? What's happening next week, Max? So, net after Monday. So, I'm in work on Saturday. Okay. Off Sunday. Okay. Then I'm going to be in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then I'm off <laughs> the Wednesday. <laughs> are you going to? Are you going to live? Um, in some capacity, I'll be alive. Oh, poor Max. Oh, so, well. but my my computer's whirring a little bit. It's very, <laughs> very disheartening. Considering I've put an, an it sounds like someone's got like there. a glass and like putting this. Oh, can you actually there. hear it as well? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're just gonna have to listen to a little bit of whirring. I'm gonna have to fix this and get a new graphics card. It seems. Hooray. Thinking, uh, you know, GeForce 1080, whatever it is. Go all out. So, Max, have you heard, heard of the latest news from YouTube about YouTube communities? No. No, you haven't. Okay, so YouTube have made YouTube communities now. Oh, we already had communities for like the last seven years. No, this is like a Facebook on YouTube. Oh, that's like the worst idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, the only person that I've seen that... What, what could we do? Let's put the cancerous comments on YouTube... But give them some kind of community. What could possibly go wrong? So I've not actually seen what it is. The only person I've seen that have them is um, uh, Vsauce Three, but I've actually not like gone and investigated because it's only come out in like literally the last twenty four hours. Oh right, okay. So that's probably why you've not seen it, or maybe a little bit past twenty four hours. But never. so in about in like in about three hours, I'm going to see. Mm. New, uh, new YouTube communities. Let's have a look, and it'll be all this clickbait 
use crap. Well, all I can see, imagine it being, is just a Facebook feed, but dedicated to your YouTube, which is literally what most people do anyway, is like have a YouTube page that's dedicated to your YouTube. They've just literally just put it in, slapped it into YouTube. Okay, so it's like a follow kind of thing, or...? Yeah, so you're supposed to like follow them in that community, like, you know, a page. Okay. Facebook, but that's YouTube. interesting. I don't okay. know. When it's, it might be easier. My, life might be easier for us that we don't have to be on like 20 different uh, social media accounts all the time, just like pinging between them all. Um, we'll see how it goes. I guess it's just Google, Google, yeah, Google don't own If Facebook. I just have like the three times so... faster studio community and then all the different channels based around it plug it into one I, my life could be a lot easier i mean it might be easier for the youtube uh people who like actually have like strong youtube presence mm. but i don't think it's going to work for other one the other way around is what i'm saying yeah because you go to facebook for everything at the moment yeah. like the whole internet's like it's done this uh, internet's done this weird, really weird thing. So, this very start of the internet, you had like your AOLs and stuff like that, and they had their own pages. And they had their own like portals, like they would aggregate some of the news for you and stuff like that. Mm. And then there's a big divergence that happened of like sites and communities fucking everywhere, and now it's all starting to come back. And we're only getting you've got your Reddit. For you as your news aggregate, you got your Facebook, which is all your meme generator <laughs> sort of shit. <laughs> that which is what Facebook has is your right, is your Facebook feed just memes constantly because of people liking them. I'm I'm starting to think I need to like defriend some people or unfollow some people just because of the amount of fucking memes I get. I don't I unfollow just like I haven't followed like most of my family, honestly. <laughs> No, this isn't we're... family. I've like I've only got one family member on my, oh, that's my brother. Oh, okay. So he's fine to have it, but uh, no. I don't see that many Friends. memes. I just see like loads of card game stuff. <sighs> Same, but th- that's just memes and card games. That's really depressing. And to be I all, what I see more often is loads of fake news stories that people we blog out of jest. Oh, that sort of stuff as well. Um, yes. Or I see like really bad comedy stuff, like, mm. and then a few days later, uh, the same video, but with like some sort of caption below it as well, because it's a new video. Then it's just like, oh god, it's the... we all saw this a month ago. Can we go over it, please? No. <laughs> fucking, it's fucking grinding my gears, Max. It really bugs me. That's the internet. <laughs> Speaking of annoying shit on the internet. Um, we didn't actually get to do this, but, you know, remember Misha with... Uh, I play Pokemon Go every day. That sort of bullshit. We, that yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered this. No, well, we didn't actually... Like, I never got to see the second video. I like, never got to really show you. I don't know if you have seen it or not. What do you mean second video? Oh, he did one about the YouTube people, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he yeah, did I can... another it's sort of one after that as well. Oops. No one cares. You no, know, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother this little child. Okay, fine. He's fine, a... Max. <laughs> He's the flavor of the month. Nobody cares. And this show is the flavor of the month. No, this show is gonna be great. It's gonna be timeless. <laughs> it's gonna be timeless when we talk about mission YouTube communities. And we're going to talk watching about... this like, what do you mean YouTube communities has been used for the last 20 years of human society? <laughs> 20 years, so that'll be, we'll be quite old then. Max, what do you think yes. you'll be doing in 20 years time? Uh, hopefully not the same as I'm doing now. Or maybe <laughs> doing the same as I'm doing, because it's pretty good what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So I don't just, know. Just in a different room, I think you're hoping. Yeah. In a much more spacious room. Maybe whiter as well. Like this yeah. room. Maybe no? even greener. Maybe everything. Maybe I'll just have green screens. And I can put anything I like as wallpaper. As, oh, but only Actually, when I'm on the computer. I think you should take some of these uh, 
posters down behind you, and I could insert the green screen. Oh, and I'll be like in the tropical beach. Yeah, you can, we... you can be anywhere you want to be then. And now I'm on the moon. <laughs> My moon base. There we go. What's, what are you referring to there? Because otherwise I'd die if it was on oh, the moon. Okay, you in a moon bit. Okay, sorry. I'd just put more effort in for you. Because well, it'd be on the base. No, I'd be on the moon. And then I'd go, base. And then I'd click my fingers and magically I'd be inside the Death Star or something. Which is also a moon, but also not a moon. <laughs> and also, Russell will have to do all the work. So, yay. Happy times so that's, for Max. That's, yeah, that sounds good for me. That's just been part of the deal all this time for doing this podcast. Speaking of deals. <laughs> Where's my fucking dairy box? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> They're a fantasy. They're not made... Listen, Max, dairy milks aren't dairy milks anymore. They, they were bought by Hershey's. Cadbury's was bought by Hershey's or something ages ago, so you're not having it. What? <laughs> Did you not know about this? Like ages I've ago. I lied to. Like years oh, ago. no, I remember the news, the article now. Uh, it's coming into your head now, isn't it? You're remembering. I told you. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Let me just bring up that Patreon really, really quickly. That, uh, Patreon dot com. com. Slash what three was times what was the three right? times faster? There we go. That's the one you want. Oh, it'd be nice if. It'd be nice that, if Max? more people um, donated to this. Uh, so Max wink, some wink nudge, nudge, wink, nudge, wink, 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 nudge. Max loves dairy milk. He needs more. Well, you would like it at least one. Please, this, this poor starving Jesus needs dairy milk to survive. We should just do like one of those Oxfam adverts. That'll do it. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, e every like, day. Oh, the kids are kids of the kids of Africa, but <laughs> Max, no, just, I'll just, just get you in tatters <laughs> on the street and just like <laughs> Max is too dumb to drink clean water. <laughs> he drinks e from the gutters. <laughs> Every day, Max has hand. to walk two miles to the nearest shops to buy dairy milks. But if you donate just a few pounds a month, Max can, can just delivered. buy multi packs and have <laughs> them at any time to your door as well. <laughs> Should, that's that's <laughs> amazing. Star of the campaign that is so good. It could be <laughs> the actual star of the campaign video. Because we actually haven't done one, you know. We've just no, had true. one set up, man. We're just like, yeah, people will use this. Now we just let the money roll in. Every Anytime day. Now. Rusty Anytime. has to wait for his computer to render videos. But for just a few pounds a month, <laughs> you buy. could get him a better computer and they would render faster. Please consider donating a few pounds a month to not Oxfam. <laughs> Nox fam. <laughs> Rocks fam? I don't know. Charity's we'll a, work on a joke name. anyway. That that's a controversial view, but like, have you ever like? So have you ever gone down the street and you've been hassled to death by oh, one of these people? Yeah, just okay, like, hey, yeah. you need to, you need to donate and stuff. For just like, so do you get paid for this? Sometimes yeah, they, they actually do. Yeah, they just do. Just like, they, get, they get paid per depending on how many people they mm, sign up. Mm, that's how it works. Seems. Seems exactly what charity's about. Some sort of... Uh, the oh. scary ones, the door-to-door -door ones. Have you seen oh. them with the tablets? No. Like, what did they give you? Like, a here's some power seats. I'm going to overdose you if you don't. I don't know. Tablets is in... I know what you meant. I'm just, oh, I'm just, okay, being, okay. I'm just being No, it's like, funny. can I have all your bank details now? And I can put the thing through now. They can't about, even be like nice. How about I take my dick out and piss on your fucking feet? They can't even be nice and like give you fake details and all that. Like, no, I'm just gonna take all of your money uh, now and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> they even have your address because they're at the, your bloody door. They know your address. They know you're in. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to them. <laughs> see, you're not even safe in your own home now. No. This is the problem. <laughs> Deep boop, you have reached the mm. automated door answering <laughs> system. 
<laughs> Maxon isn't home right now. I will take a message. Let me grab a pen and pencil. No, I will record the message now. <laughs> Be. <laughs> or you, or you, you just say Stand the beep up. at the wrong time. Just like wait for the. They start talking and then you go be. <laughs> <laughs> and then beep again like quite fast so it just it doesn't record fully just like thank you for your recording would you, you thank you for using our recording system you twats <laughs> close the door notice me senpai notice me speaking of uh, amazing technology the ps4 pro have you seen this? Have you heard about this? The, the PS, not triple, the PS Quintal. No, I've not seen the PS4. Yeah, I've heard that it's slightly thicker, is it? So, yeah, so imagine a PS4 and then you add a third layer on top. So, we're McDonald's now? It looks like a club sandwich. Can yeah, Interesting. What does the extra layer do? I'm assuming that's for housing a better GPU. Basically, <laughs> and it's coming out, you know, just before Christmas. Blah blah blah. I don't think it does actually 4K. Oh no, it does maybe it does do 4K, but they've not given a Blu-ray that do, you know, there's an inside is uh, a Blu-ray player that doesn't actually have the capacity to read the 4K discs, which it seems a bit weird considering it's Sony and they own Blu-ray. Very weird. Mm, I'm not sure what to think about that one. Mm. Very unusual. I'm Do you reckon it'll sell sure. well? Or so here's the thing. I don't know who it's actually marketing to. First people of all, don't have PS4s. People, so so yes, people that don't already have a PS4. There is a PS4 Slim that's just come out. As well, so that's like you know a PS, the smaller PS4 with the. Better efficiencies and all that sort of stuff. Blah blah, mm -hmm. blah 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 blah. So you've got that option. You also have, again, the four Pro. Uh, it has 4K capabilities, 60 frames per second, but you need a 4K TV to actually display to actually utilize right. it. So now you need the 4K TV. Now they are coming down in price. That's a good thing. Probably not fast enough that they're in every home, so you've bought a slightly better PS4 that can upscale stuff, but you're not going to see any difference. It will have, I think, on some games, it there will be patches to. Like, you're you not selling me on this. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It just doesn't make much sense. Uh, you could have a computer, a really good computer that will do VR and. 4K, which is obviously what this is marking to, because you're going to have the PlayStation VR coming out soon. Well, not soon, but I mean, probably next year, sometime. Is that going to be like the PS5? No, no. Going to use... no, no, not that's clever marketing did... strategy. No. Have the PS5 and the 5 is a V, and they put the R next to it, and be the 5R, and you go, oh! And then you just like get your dick out and just jizzle all over the place, yeah. <laughs> I should work in PR. I'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they've just sold the PS4 Pro, so they're not going to do it again. PS5. PS5R. Does this... VR. Ooh. See, Clever. that would be obvious, but no. <laughs> Sadly not. Um, there's nothing... I don't know really much to say about this. With win this weird thing where... Your console is becoming more like a computer. Yeah. And computers just always on. Like, it's scary to, like, not go on your console for a long time because it's like, oh, now I've got to download all these updates and blah, 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 uh, blah, yeah. PCs don't have that because you always seem to have your PC on all the time and then just Steam just goes, there's an update for this game. Let me just download this whilst you work. Mm. Let me just do this now. It's like, oh, I think done. I think con like consoles like the Xbox and the PlayStation where it has been pure power are slowly falling behind, like just having a desktop computer. Because mm. now that everything is being ported to the PCs, 
I mean, most games are on PC now. So, so here's the weird thing about... Unless in Nintendo, it's like, we make weird consoles. Well, look, Nintendo have gone to, uh, like, all mobile stuff now, so we're going to get a Mario Runner game, where it's an endless runner, runner Mario game. It really depends what the NX does. Like, it, it, people have been saying, like, the NX controls are like, some weird tab... Not a tablet, but, like, something you can take off and take with you and play or something Well, like apparently that. they're going for carts as well. They're going back to SD carts. Well, they'll, they'll be moving to SD carts, basically, as well. SD... What? Instead of discs? Yeah. Well, let, okay. Max, you don't use discs anymore. St uh, like, you've got... a. Uh, your flash drives, they hold 16 mm. gig. That's quite a lot. You can hold 32 gig. You know, they can st store a big game in there. Uh, PCs now have, um, you know, SSDs. I have an SSD running my OS. and I suppose other... it's hard to scratch an SD card in the disc. Yeah, exactly. Um, the smaller. You don't have the problem of, like, when you're on the move. You remember, I remember PS... Uh, portables mm. you could you know like just jolt them and fuck up the game because it's a moving disc inside well you don't have yeah. that problem anymore because it's a car so well, that... the, the, the PS, PSP and the beta voice you, they've used carts for for ages oh yes they've used they, they, well, they, 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 yeah. they are not like actual main consoles as no, well as no, side no. consoles but you know what I'm saying but, yeah, if, but, if the NX yeah. is also a portable console then it needs to be car as well which yeah. I think is understandable so what I was saying about PCs before uh, with Xbox so Xbox have done this really unusual thing or starting this uh, rollout of an unusual thing they're going to have their own like uh, Steam basically their own like places where you can buy games and stuff and you're going to have the ability to play it on Xbox or the computer, you know, be able to switch between them and stuff like that. You're going to have all that cloud sort of stuff. And you just slowly they're coming together, even though there's going to be a they've just they've just released another new Xbox version, mm. Xbox one. And also the Xbox Scorpio is going to be coming out probably, you know, in six months time, something like that. We're also going to have. The PC compatibility with them, it's like, hmm. So, are you trying to basically. My, C, my PC is like a P60, my P60 is like a PC. Well, it's not quite like that because the, it's really unusual. You, you're buying now hardware constantly, like you would for a PC to upgrade. Hmm. But you have and to buy also, the whole unit. Yeah, but you have to buy the whole unit. And also then, your PC is playing your games. You can play your games on the PC. So it's like, why not just cut out the middleman and just not have a console? Very, very weird. Like, I think, honestly, like, the only thing that consoles cater to are, like, smaller children that, you know, it's easier for them to like plug in and play basically you have to remember consoles still do have like a lot of exclusivity to them like they have games that won't come out for other systems sort of i think that's starting to dwindle like it dwindles but that's still something that people think about for yeah it's true i mean i bought a Wii U because of some exclusive games. Well, I think Wii U is not really a runner. It's not really running the console wars, really. It's not like contending you're, to be yeah, like that's the best. The, yeah. Well, yeah, I know. I'm agreeing with your point where you're yes, saying yes. I did buy a Wii U just because yeah. of some games. That is completely true. Mm. Um, but recently, I've been looking at games and I'm like, hmm. I'm yeah, only 50, buying 50, them. Fifty pounds for a whole game. <laughs> yeah, like I'm only buying them to play with my friends on on a PS4 because they've not like decided to move to like PCs where they should be, and I think they would have been capable of doing such a thing. Very weird world we live in now. I'm just surprised by just consoles. Like it's being a big part of everything, you know, big part of gaming, but. 
Yes. Not really doing much, and especially with not, the, not in, now. The huge interim of like, let's have a PS4 Pro for reasons. Like, I would, I would love to. It's it's really frustrating because I've got a like special edition. I've got the Metal Gear Solid Five uh, Phantom Pain mm. console, so I'm like. Well, I don't really want to hand this in for store credit so I can get my PS4 Pro because I'm not going to get the PS4 Pro Metal Gear Solid 5 version. Yeah. So I'm like, great. Cool, I'll just keep this and won't get the Pro now. That's that's the problem. If you're going to have to... If you're going to make a model, you're going to have to, like, make the special versions of the things already there. Otherwise, people are going to be like, well, this is just a collector's thing now. It's just going to... That happens with like a lot of collector's consoles, really. Like, think about how many special edition 3DSs and DSs there have been. Yes, but... Oh, yeah, true. You're pointing out the, the Nintendo 3DS, which has like 20 billion versions. Then it's like when the new one comes out, it's like, oh, this old one does not now function. <laughs> it functions, but I cannot use the new Pokemon game on it, so therefore it doesn't function. <laughs> Damn it, Max. Make me think long and hard. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, I don't really want to... I don't think anyone is going to really get one. I'm actually interested. Like, well, any comments? It's, it's, it's interesting that you've mentioned the PS4. Just put it down, because I'm interested in like what people actually say about it. Because I'm like mm, a bit on the fence about it. Go on, Max, anyway, you're saying. Have you heard about the thing about uh, Skyrim and the PS4? No mods. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was really interesting. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm very surprised that people care about Skyrim still. So that's basically just because of, uh, I think, Sony bureaucracy getting in the way a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That could be that could be the problem. I mean, it's not that... I don't think Sony, because it's got a Japanese company, it's not as fluid as no. I think. Because we've noticed this by working with like card game companies in Japan. Things take a long time to get through and like different yes. layers of stuff is very rigid about of uh, you know, layers there are in the corporation. So that might be, you know, a bit of a problem. Um I just think it's weird, like it's not that big a deal. It's not like it's a new game really. I know it's the remastered one, but it's like... Yeah, so it's the remastered one, but are they not putting... I've not really researched the news so much. Are it's they the not same putting, game. Are they not putting new the, the mods that would be in the Xbox version in the PS4 version, or is it you can't put additional mods onto said version? There'll be no mods for it at all. There'll be no mod support. Because they wanted like a... a they wanted like an extra shop kind of thing, didn't they, were you'd be able to get mods off, like, uh, a community kind of thing, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, okay. But obviously that apparently isn't going to be a thing on the PS4 version. Even though the PC have had this for, like, the last 10 years, so, like, the PC's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the modded communities get it, I think, is actually building quite rapidly now. As a whole, uh, you know, yeah. that, more than it ever was. Because you can, uh, you know, because Steam has actually given, like, uh, you know, a, a way to broadcast your mods a lot easier now than it used to ever be. Because yeah, well, before had, you had to host got... them on some sort of like file sharing site and stuff. And stuff. there's still huge websites just dedicated to it. Like the Steam, there's some depends what game it is really. Like for Bethesda games, they don't really seem to do particularly well on Steam. They always they have their own like website that they use or a couple of handful of websites that are known for that. But mm -hmm. I think I still think it's a weird decision by Sony not to say. Like, uh, no, you can't cause reasons. It's not like if they, they own the game or something, it would make sense, but they don't. <laughs> Even if it's like a Sony game or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, th that's because they're trying to like, oh, no. marry some stuff up, and it's all about some document, like, that's probably in, in the tower somewhere, just like, oh, where's this document? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no mods for these guys. But... I don't think you still answered my question. Is it like no mod oh. support at all? I mean, I'm I'm saying yeah, no mods at all. The, you, in the disc, there will be mods. 
there are including some mods in the disc. Oh right, okay. So nice will you those will be keep included yeah. as well? I'm well, assuming I... they have to be included. Like, they may not. They may be disabled. Depends how uh, how how they want it to be. That's worrying. It is, but no one cares because everyone's had it on PC for like the last seven years. Whoever's ha- been wanting to play it anyway, so yeah, has it been that long? It must. It's been like seven years or something. Really, Skyrim's been that long. Bloody hell! Maybe it's like five years, maybe. Yeah, five know. years. Five Still, years. that's a long time for. You know, I'm surprised that they picked Skyrim. I was like, Morrowind, Oblivion. No, okay, okay. Nobody I think, wants. I think Skyrim was their big game though for Bethesda. It, you know, in that um, in the Elder Scrolls titles, I, th- I don't remember too many people thinking about. Oblivion and Morrowind, or those that era have like grown up. Like I'm assuming that's all our age, though. But I feel like most people people still, people still lo- love Morrowind and uh, Oblivion, and there's still people who feel well, the certain functions. In all honesty, Max, all they had to do was just go hit a bus and say re-render. <laughs> exactly. You know, it was people... already it was already set at you know a higher. It could already already do all this sort of stuff. It's just oh yeah, they've just gone re-render in high. That's all people resolution. want. They want More they textures. just want a, they want an engine update and that's it. They'll be fine. Mm. That's all they really want. But they make so much money out of doing so little. That's why I'm I'm confused. They didn't do it because people would people who don't own it would buy it because yeah. they go oh well, I've played Skyrim. I wonder what this one is like. I heard all the oldies talk about it. Oh blah blah blah. That's what I'm saying. Like it's such a no. When you when you do it for older games, it's a little bit harder because you've not got the actual textures already there. You have to make the new textures. Uh, fair enough. Like with with, with the game that's only five years oldish, you'll have all the HD or, or like ultra HD textures already made like there, and then when you're making your rendered version on like say PS4. It set you set it at everything at a certain level, so they basically they're just just taking the the the, uh, the sliders of detail and just moved it up a little bit mm. and press re- like go again. No, it's like... So it's more it's not a, it's really a sake of nostalgia. Then. It's more of a sake of ease of access for the people developing it. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. understand that. Which is what it's like Nintendo? Like... They keep Mario in the top drawer and Ocarina of Time in the second drawer, right? And they just keep re-releasing that shit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, with how many times have we had uh, Ocarina of Time now? I think it's like three. We've had uh... Nintendo sixty-four. We had it on the GameCube. Yes. When, when it was with the um, Wind, the Wind Waker. Waker. Yeah. The special edition disc, and then you also have it on 3DS. 3DS. Yes. You know, how long has that game been around? Fifteen years? Something like that. And you've you've basically put it out every five years at this point. And made money off of it. Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you? And Majora's it, Mask has been did they really release Majora's Mask before the three D S version? I don't think so. That's why I actually bought the Majora's Mask version because I never really got to play it fully on the NES. Because oh really? So yeah, so not on the NES. So the Nintendo 64. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way of playing it on the NES. That's that's, that's, that's a problem. Because on that, <laughs> this is another thing about consoles. Like there actually have been like these things that improve the graphics quality. So the um, N64 actually had an expansion slot for memory, and that's what. Majora's Mask needed. It's like I don't understand why it needed it. Was it like a frame rate issue or something? I just needed more RAM, I think, basically. Oh, okay. Just just more stuff to keep a track of, so I just needed it. Um, well, yeah, lots of like... games need, needed it. Uh, like, another brilliant game that was a games console that had, like, this big improvement was the uh, Mega Drive, or the, what's it called? The Genesis. Yes. Yes, yes. And like so consoles that... are designed to be added on at that point. Yeah, and like, so it designed had, to like have the crap attached have the to X, it. The X thirty two bit that made it thirty two mm-hmm. bit, and you can have the CD slapped on the side, and you can also this is the one of the most unusual things that you could ever buy <laughs> is that a cart that goes where that cart can go into with uh, Sonic oh, and yeah, Knuckles. Oh yeah, I've so seen you could, that. You have your Sonic and Knuckles cart that was the new game, but then any other game you could slot in for uh, 
that was Sonic, and then you can play as Knuckles as well. It's really weird. Like nowadays, you they don't obviously they don't do that now. We just buy new consoles. But now way back then, uh, even I think as late as the GameCube, the GameCube was designed to have shit attached the to it. GameCube, you could take the back off of all the stuff from the GameCube, and it's like had like it's just two little inches ports everywhere. Yeah, it's like, like two, yeah. It was very small that GameCube, but the GameCube it was. was so good, one of the best consoles. And this, the weird thing about the GameCube, it had like zero penetration for like any, anything else. Like no one, it was very hard to find people that bought a GameCube. I felt compared to like the PS2s that were everywhere. And I you know, think I was lucky, and I had like an actual group of friends who did. I get also it. had a, a group of friends that had them, but there was a lot more. PlayStation 2 people buy a huge ton. Hmm. But, hey, what are you going to do? The GameCube was the better console, though, hands down. I, I agree. But that's that's very biased enough for us. <laughs> to be honest, the, the only problem with the, uh, the good old GameCube, it just needed the second Z button. So all those games that PS2 had, they could have been ported over for the GameCube instantly and it would have had better graphics and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you fucked up just that little bit. Nintendo, Nintendo do like little things that just fuck up constantly. Well, they're not, not. I don't know. If they fuck up. They, they they deviate a little bit too far from the plan. To yeah. Make them, just like if you just to make it too relatable to everyone. For yeah. Everyone. If you just sl- it was slightly closer, you'd just be able to have everything and more. Oh well, Nintendo. Maybe in the future, eh? You know, whatever. You can sell more Pokemon games and... <laughs> Live off Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon, okay. do, you want to, do, do you want to talk about Sun and Moon anymore? Or? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I'm actually getting a little bit more hyped for it now. Before I, I, I was I, like... After the Ultra Beasts but... have me peaked yeah, in like, interest. They're weird, those Ultra Beasts, because, they, you know, they've got, like, serial numbers or something after them. So they're obviously, like, man-made or something. Yeah, because the theory is because the the mo- beauty the moth fucking I know it's not actually a it's moth, not a moth it's, it's a other... cricket. It's not it's cricket. No, it's... No, it's not cricket. It's a cockroach. It's it's not. It's, someone's pointed out with some weird bug. I don't remember what the name is. I thought it was a cockroach, uh, but white basically. No, it's no, not... it's natural. There's an insect it's based off of. Okay. But I can't remember what it is. So you've got like, but the but whatever beauty because she looks a lot like is it Lumini Lum whatever. Yeah, the chick. Um, and the uh, EB01, the jellyfish, looks like the younger sister character, yeah. the other blonde girl with green eyes. So we're guessing there's some correlation between them and these new Pokemon. I think the only one we've not seen directly, like expansion. He like there's nothing. He he doesn't look like any well, other absorption character. His name is absorption, the... yeah. So unless it's going to be like. Because you know there's three characters with blonde hair and green eyes. Because mm. there's the girl, there's the leader, and then there's the kid who's got the black uh, um, clothes on. Mm-hmm. Who looks like a rival character. So maybe he's expansion, uh, he's absorption or something. Because he has the chimera. We don't know. Um, yeah. So what was I? I didn't really get um, the type no. Yeah, Type Null. So that's the Pokemon's name. Yes. Right. Okay. Because apparently the thing is like when the Dex, the Pokedex tries to like register, it's like, oh, this isn't actually like a thing. Yeah. So it's, it comes up as like an error technically. Right. Okay. So it's like Type uh, Null. Hmm. Um, but people have been uh, quick to try and like figure out what bits make it. Yeah. Uh, the general consensus like the legs and. Uh, um, they could be anything legs really like it might be hound room and like a skarmory the fin is apparently gyarados but the really interesting thing is like the collar piece uh, i've heard about this is Arceus it's like arceus is a uh, rings, rings and that's yeah. really that's really interesting because it looks like it looks kind of like it's going to become a griffin if it evolves yeah because the head piece obviously is supposed to look like a beak mm. or like a head crest kind of thing so um I don't know. They, they they are shaking things up quite a lot in this game, like a ridiculous amount. So I, I, I uh, the way that was, what I was going to say, I think the Ultra Beasts are a new kind of boss encounter. 
because we've seen how they work in the totem Pokemon, it looks more like an RPG battle because the totem Pokemon summon more Pokemon to fight with them. Yeah, okay. They power them up. So maybe the Ultra Beasts aren't actually catchable creatures. It's more like a boss encounter. Maybe. And it's something like that. That's the only thing I can really figure out so far. And even then, that's like... Well, that's you like, uh, remember in Black and White when you had to fight, uh, what's his name, Gethus? Because he he would have caught, like, you know, Zekrom or whatever yeah. it is. Or was it N? Either, either or. He had to fight them yes. as, as bosses. So, yeah. you know, not that weren't just the Elite Four. Mm. And, well, the big, like, complaints, I think they've uh, finally had like Nintendo have listened to, like a big complaint of here of everyone but this is not me I, I'm fine with Pokemon staying the same as it always is is that it's not different it needs to be more different I'm like no it's you think the reason why it's the same is because it's actually quite perfect you've actually <laughs> deviated too far from it already where black uh, like uh, red and blue were actually like nearly perfect they were nearly there They've actually. Well, I thought we've already had, the, had, the, perfect, we've already had the perfect Pokemon game. It was called Golden Silver. Exactly. <laughs> it was. It really was. Uh, so people are just like confused. Like, it needs to be more different. No, 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 no. You've you've lost it completely. It needs to be the same again, and only tiny bit different. Mm. Only tiny bit different. This is very different now. Like to the extreme, like I'm, I'm looking at it and it's like this. This seems more like a standard RPG than Pokemon yeah. at this point. The uh, speaking of changing things, they've changed Ash a lot for the anime. Ash seems to be literally day de- age de- like two years. He looks well, eight he's, now. He's back to school now. Yeah. So the, apparently the theory is that they're trying to compete with Yokai Watch. In Japan. Oh, and that's why he's got like a cute little Rotom to help him all the time as well. And he's now. back at school because that's where Yokai Watches takes place as ah, a kid. He's just... trying to, they're trying to get the Yokai Watch people that's back. That's apparently what the theory is. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Actually, makes perfect sense. <laughs> I'm like, because apparently Yokai Watch is a threat. No, it is in in Japan. Yoke in Japan, Watch yeah, but in huge. the rest of the world, everyone's like, "What?" <laughs> Yoke Watch is just like Yoke Watch Two. Didn't didn't like Yoke Watch One just come out like four months ago? It was like, uh, I don't think it's it's not caught on over here. I don't think at all. It's too far, far, far too late. Oh yeah, you, like I think that that's why Yoke Watch works in Japan is because. There was this just, I think, this niche time between games of Pokemon. I think also, like, Yokai Watch's very core concept is very Japanese, like, even the name. Yokai, what is, what's a yeah. Yokai, Max? It's a Japanese demon. Exactly. Well, That's the thing, all, as well. they're all Spirit Japanese demon. themed creatures, but Pokemon are very, like, a universal. It's a rabbit, it's, it's a pig, it's a goat, you know. Yeah. These are very universal things that people, anyone can understand. But, yeah. well, yokai, but with Yokai Watch again, they're like, it's very deep seated into like Japanese mythology. Mm. So that's not the thing you're really into or don't get. It's like, uh... It just looks like a random monster that you have no yeah. understanding of where the, anything's come from. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That makes sense. But, but as I say, Pokemon's like, it's a, it's a rabbit. I can get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a rabbit that has special powers. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, th- I like uh, what they're doing. Like Pokemon and Sun and Moon, I think it's been probably some of the more exciting news to come out because it's like really different. So we're not totally sure what everything's going to be. Because mm-hmm. um, in the past, like, oh, that's legendary. It's that's that. That's that. That's that. Whatever. Um, but now it's like, like the. You've been, I don't you've know been so many curveballs. You're just looking at her and just going, "What is this game?" Mm. At this point, which you know is fine. Like they've not really Happy given with. away like that much to be honest in terms of new Pokemon. Exactly. So it's like could be anything. Really. One thing I saw that was really weird was um, Team Rocket. You know, because they got there in the anime. The show oh yes, picture. they've they got a uh, beware. Yeah. 
for some reason was just like that. I was one. That's like no, what? it makes perfect sense. I be because of beware for trouble. What? No, no, no. Because obviously it's going to be like the old James thing. It's going to like hug him and crush him because it's a fight. And... Oh, okay. Like like Victory Bell used to like always. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's okay. going to be like that. It's going to like crush him. No, fight them. No. It looks like from one of the promo pictures they have a Mimikyu as well. What's the Mimikyu? Mimikyu, the Mim- Pikachu. The Pikachu thing. The Hedgehog? No, Mimikyu, the Pikachu copy, the ghost oh, thing. Oh, the ghost thing. Yeah. Right. Oh. I think that, that'll be really interesting to see. Yeah. Go Pikachu, go Mimikyu. <laughs> that'll be interesting for like 10 seconds and then like, it will stop. Well, you know, this is the thing where I think they're going to be bringing... Uh, Team Rocket back because in the last season I'm they pretty didn't sure do anything, yeah. they weren't there, there. But if we're going back to schoolyard stuff, you know they, you know Team Rocket could be there constantly. It's just like as a school threat. bullies. Yeah, no, no, they get enrolled the in the same school. They're gonna own the school. It's be a huge plot twist. It's gonna yes. be a rocket school. Just like in, do you remember? Did you ever watch The Emperor's New Groove? Yes. So the, there's The Emperor's New School. Where just like the, the bad guys owned the school that oh. <laughs> there was there was principal uh, Yzma and uh, Kronk was also there as well. Oh, and this new school was uh, pretty weird. That I'm just bringing out the weird nostalgia. Not even nostalgia. I wouldn't even call that. It's just weird '90s facts or early 2000s facts. Feels weird. Yeah. But no, the anime looks like. Excuse me, they've gone for like a, a very different, not a very different. They have gone for like a different style. Mm-hmm. Like he, Ash looks like he looks younger. Like he his looks eyes eight. look. Uh, he he looks, looks a lot eight. rounder. Yeah. His t-shirt, you know, has that very generic. Well, this t-shirt is the his his literal costume is the um, main character, the main male character. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's literally just colour swapped into Ash's colours. Oh, okay. That is it. There's no change. Hmm. That's how much that's how much they care. Pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. The new South Park season. Yes. Just just come out. Uh, sorry for spoilers, guys, but we're gonna just talk about it for a little bit. They've they've really hit the nail on the head. They've got so much to work with, though. Oh, the. Th- like this, this is literally like, too much to work with. That it's like, it's... the episode seems like a hodgepodge, too much of a hodgepodge of stuff. Like it's just to cram stuff in to get it started. Um, but the election bit was amazing. It's just like we got to choose between a giant douche and a turd sandwich, <laughs> and just like yeah, and anything Trump does seems to just doesn't really matter because <laughs> Hillary's such a bad candidate. And they, they, they're really pointing it out that it doesn't matter what Trump does. <laughs> Hillary looks... It, it's still, you know, Hillary. So there's your problem. Uh, <laughs> do you remember Cartman's T-shirt that he's wearing? Oh, Token Lives. Token's to- Life Matters. Yeah, yeah, Token's Life Matters. I was just like, that's that's amazing. Uh, I, I w- the, need to come the out. The little gender war that... Oh, Cartman's they're trying to start. Been, which is so true as well. And... Everything, everything coming together, and oh, this, well, the the whole bit, I was laughing my ass off immediately when they just start the uh, the whole thing of Cartman going, uh, women are uh, funny, well, yeah. funny and uh, should be respected, and you know the the the, <laughs> the, the, the best ever. Just like and he starts going around to all the girls, just like oh, you're funny, right? Just 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 say something, a little quip, <laughs> and just like they're not wanting to do it at all. Just like all right, just just say something about like oh, my vagina. <laughs> just 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 say that this is the thing about like comics like female comics that i see a lot when uh so i've like been to like random live shows and stuff and then you know mm. female comics comes up and then they do literally talk about very female related stuff mm. like oh i'm fat no one likes me and also i've got vagina and it's just like this is actually how it is i was just like can't well done south park you've You've noticed how it is. This is what, this is why, like, 
Do you feel like female comics, most of them aren't funny? Uh, I don't really watch that many of them, to be honest. I don't know if that's just a well, fact of... I think that might be a, a, a evidence to, <laughs> to show something. But it's Maybe. because... They do the, the, you know, the relational comedy is very important, but they do Mm. it to such a degree that only 50% of the audience gets it. Uh, Maybe it'd have to do research. I don't know, really. No, but that's what I'm saying. The the, the, the relational comedy, they're talking about stuff that only females will get. Yes, yes. I'm saying that's why only 50% of your audience gets it, is because they're female. You know, I've, it's very hard, I feel, to find a male comic that will just stick to going, talking about dicks and balls constantly. Hmm. I, I though, agree. Even though being kicked in the balls is hilarious sometimes. Well, not, not being kicked in the balls, what a joke of being about kicked in the balls. It's pretty funny sometimes. Um, I'm just trying to think, because I, like, I used to follow Ideas Art quite closely. I don't really call him going into that kind of time. You just usually talk about mythology and weird things with actors not really treading into personal things with like men and stuff mm. so i don't know maybe maybe you're right maybe maybe cartman was right cartman, cartman is slightly right i i agreed full heartedly with cartman in this situation it's like <laughs> do you remember when he was going to the the the, the kindergartners oh so he starts reading the revised nursery rhyme so the fairy tale book, and then out came Janet, and she was a very large, funny woman. <laughs> and then she went, mm, "My vagina." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cartman's amazing. But, uh... So anyway, it, they've got season, so much stuff to work with. Is going to be the season to watch, especially when. J.J. Abrams rewrites the national anthem. Oh, he, he reboots the reboots national anthem. The national anthem. And uh, it is the same, except for like a minor change at the start, which is perfect for the episode, which explains everything. And yeah, everything just about the episode works so well. Definitely want to watch. But do you remember, Russell? I do. Mm, I remember Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, remember Fugitive? <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you haven't seen it, watch watch the episode. It's really good. Definitely. I think this season is probably the one to watch just because it will be running alongside election cycle and they're obviously going to do the election as well like they sometimes do as well in South Park quite a few times. Oh, the actual election, not just the, the election actual- cycle. It's in the election cycle and the election is usually yes. on the like the last episode ish sort of usually as well. So we've got that to look forward to as well. What actually happens. And well the the whole world will is actually watching on this election cycle because I don't believe Hillary is even gonna be a candidate anymore because of have you seen all the health problems she's been having about dehydrating and been yeah. having like, so I didn't know how extensive it actually was until I watched a video by the Amazing Atheist, and he went through a load. I of watched things. this. That yeah. came up in my feed. Yeah. So I was, I was like, "Oh, it's it's this bad that he's actually pointing out that she could be actually having seizures, and and uh, this is not. You can't have some <laughs> someone in so much power, like, get dizzy and fall over." constantly you can't have someone in power just like have seizures at bright lights and just like it's just That's like not... the perfect way to defeat the u.s yeah just send ransom notes with flashing lights in them. we're know, going to attack I mean, she explains some things it's just like the way she just does some expressions on mm. her face you know when you know on some stuff it just it's just evident and like the coughing I didn't know she was been coughing for like the last, like who had to worry about it for the last ten years. Well, you do because it's the U.S. They're their closest allies and a large part of the world economy. Yeah, but I don't have to worry about it directly. Oh, okay. Like it's, it's like I'll just go. Oh well, it sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we're going to no, be leaving no. the EU, so they're going to be like our next closest uh, like trade union, if that could even happen. So are we hoping like the rest of the world just fucks up somehow? Um, like, while well, the Greece goes back into debt after we leave the EU, and then they can't bail them out, then the entire EU just kind of crumbles in on itself. No, if anything, if that would happen again, uh, the EU would just spit Greece out. That's what I would think would happen mm -hmm. in that situation. I can't see them like going for a second bailout. But this is what happens when you have a, a union and nothing's equal. You have Germany mm -hmm. ruling everything and it's a powerhouse of the economy. And then you have Greece, which has one of the worst economies. And it's just disparity and, you know, that's, that was, it was obvious it was going to happen. You need to you need to all be on the same level, or you need to be a little bit more segregated, because that's this is what pop, the problems are. If uh, my Wii U just turned on, telling me to play Just Dance 2017, try the demo now for free. What the hell? How about no? <laughs> just sprang to life. It does that. Wii U's just do that. Play me, Russell. It's Play me. <laughs> Because I think they're always on standby. Oh. We use our. You can't, like, really turn them off as such. And they're always, like, connected to the internet and stuff. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Like, all consoles now are always, like, want to be connected. Anyway, mm. we're back to, uh, back to Hillary in the election. So. Uh. I'm, I would be more worried than you'd think because now you have to think, oh, maybe we're, arch we're going to have to actually vote in a vice president more than a president at this point. Mm. If she has all these issues, like the coughing for years, it seems like, actual coughing fits. My mother, this is a bit personal, but, you know, let's just us girls and, and the rest of everyone that watches you know has a quite a serious condition and she coughs a lot and she's you know um always coughing and can't actually you know work because of it mm. if it's the same sort of thing then why has hillary got the, the most powerful go let's go for the job of the most important job in probably the world because they're trying to cover it up, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're definitely covering it up. Definitely is something happening with her health. Mm. Definitely something happening. Um, and then Trump, I think, has recently shown his medical records and like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm feel like I'm thirty. Just like, yeah, okay, okay, seventy year old Trump. Trump. I mean, for seventy year old, I think Trump looks quite good. But, you know, that's a lot of makeup on fake orange crap on his face to actually conceal oh. everything. But, yeah, um, I'll be very seriously worried about what's happening with Hillary at the moment. And as a party, I'm more surprised that, like, all the superdelegates, see if you can, Max, go, go a little bit to the left. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if uh, the super delegates, you know, knew about all this and started to vote for, but again, the super, the super delegates that voted for Hillary mm. voted for to keep the system, you know, as it is. Voted for the status quo because they can, they didn't want to have Sanders. Because what happens if they put Sanders as vice president and then Hillary dies? And Sanders like, oh, that'd be pretty awesome, you know. That'd be like, a... is that the best case scenario? That's, that's currently the best case scenario, you know. Now, <laughs> honestly, that is probably the best case scenario. <laughs> we'll place this old frail woman with an even older man, <laughs> but definitely quite not be as frail. <laughs> they're, they're all too old, to be honest. They're all way too old for this job. But it's possibly one of the most stressful jobs to have is to be a president, maybe. I think. Maybe. Unless you're a cool president. <laughs> like Obama. Yeah. Wickedy wickedy wah. 
it's that what he says to uh, Rick on his days off. Yeah. Wookadee, wookadee, wah, wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> I, I really want Rick and Morty back so badly now. When, when are we getting Rick and Morty go? That's the question. Is it called Rick and Morty Go? I know there's a VR Rick I... and Morty game. Oh, there is that, but I want this to be Rick and Morty because they made a rip off of Pokemon. So Rick I want to make Morty's. a rip off. Yeah, yeah. Where's, where's the rip off of Pokemon Go? It'll be too much server. Like, that, that sort of game is, is all about how I, I, I don't expect an actual one. game, but there'd be something just like taking the piss out of it. Oh. Pocket look, Morty's look, Go. Look, Morty! You can, you can walk around your, your town, <laughs> you know, like an old person could do. Without a cellular device. <laughs> you, get, you can catch these Mortys. They're, ev- they're fucking everywhere, Morty. <laughs> battle, battle yourself to get the, the Mortys. But, uh, Morty, there's, there's actually like invisible creatures everywhere uh, and you have to catch them with your cellular device. Really? <laughs> nah. It's all just shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just shit trying to brainwash you. Pokemon Go is the like the buddy system now. Do you care? Uh, no. Okay. It's only Gen One. <laughs> I don't care until like Gen Three, really. <laughs> then we've got at least half. No, we won't. Yeah, we'll only just have half of the Pokemon at Gen, Gen 3. Three. Over yes. half of the Pokemon at Gen Three. Because one seven twenty now, are we? So they're close, but and you know yeah. we're going to be getting another hundred. Yeah, but in Gen three we'll have three eighty two. Because okay. Gen three gave us like one hundred and thirty guys. Really, there was that many. Yeah. Because it was uh, one fifty two fifty, then went to three eighty two. Okay. And so it's like that's why right. Gen three is like, whoa, there's loads of guys. Mm. Yeah, Gen three they did go all out and make a, a t- well, it was on an island, so basically they had to. I don't like all these alluring form of Gen 1 stuff. I'll be interested to see if there isn't, even if there is alluring forms of anything past Gen 1 at this point. Mm. Uh, it would have been interesting to see like maybe some of the other plant Pokemon. I swear, if we get a Loan Butterfree and it's fucking pink. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Aren't pink uh, Butterfree's just shiny Butterfree's? No, I believe it's. There's a pink. Oh yeah, it's pink and green, isn't it? Are we, t- are we talking about the the Ash catching leasing his Pokemon? His yeah, Butterfree exactly. To be yes. with the other girl Butterfree, the only pink. girl Butterfree, it seemed. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's, that was weird. It's just like, why is there so and many guys? And he's gonna meet him again in a lower, and he's like, oh, hi, Butterfree. Yes, exactly. Apparently, they said there's gonna be an Alolan. Parasect, haven't they? Because there's there's new mushroom Pokemon. What is it? Uh, what is the new mushroom thing? I don't know what the. Oh, it's a new mushroom. Yeah, the new mushroom. Look, it's a furry type. I can't remember. It's like a really shitty name. It doesn't and, matter. There's a mushroom Pokemon. Go for it. So, but apparently, thinking... like the theory is that that will hatch on to Paris instead, instead of the mushrooms it has. Oh, okay. And that's going to be as like it's a low end form. It's going to be like it's combined with this new Pokemon, this new mushroom. And I thought, okay, that could be interesting, but uh, I, I would like to have seen other gens. But obviously, I feel that the, uh, this is catering to the Pokemon Go people. Well, this is what it looks like. They've, they've actually thought about it. It's just like, right, if we just get all these poke, you know these people hooked and Pokemon again and then we go here's our new game make sure you buy 3DS now uh, make, here's our new game with all these guys yeah. we've just put into your recent memory yeah like but slightly different yeah but they're, they're new and different Woo. yeah but they're the same but they're new and different <laughs> I think we the all game. It's, it's so different now it's still Pokemon but it's actually very different Ooh, wouldn't you like to try new different Pokemon? Wouldn't you like to buy a 3DS bundle with the new Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Buy buy the fucking Pokemon game right now, bitch. Uh, that, like that's everything, plan. everything they've shown so far is like even like the whole Snorlax thing. Molol, that's the mushroom. Molol. 
Good. That was it. And that was it. I was I was gonna be really fucking annoyed that I couldn't remember that. Um So if it does feel like it's like, oh Snorlax, you know, like they gave Snorlax a new one of the Z moves. And that was a big thing in the recent presentation. Mm. Um so I feel like that's just gonna be the thing. It's just gonna all gonna be all Gen One stuff. Like the Ratchet and Eradicate we've just seen recently. Like, we have not seen any indication. Well, also, we've got the 21st, uh, sorry, the 20th anniversary cards just come out in Japan. Yes. And they're all like the old Gen- design, like yeah. the very first base set Pokemon just revised. So they're really going at this hardcore to try and get people in. Like, yes. Test again. And it's working because I, I feel like Pokemon's grown in the last two years, just generally, like, you know, this whole scene, but definitely when Pokemon Go came out, just a surge and just people wanted to reinvite, you know, reinvigorated and want to see yeah. Pokemon's like again. So, yeah, quite interesting. We'll see. Uh... And on that bombshell, Max, I think it's time to end the show. Oof. Considering... We're both very busy and have so many other videos to make on our other channel, uh, Card Fight Central. Central. That's the one. Card Fight Central. Don't, don't forget your new channel, Russell. Don't forget your yeah, channel. I can't, I can't remember anything, Max. When when it, when we hit 10 o'clock, my brain just goes... Turns to mush. It's not 10 o'clock, yeah. It feels, my body feels, my body's saying it's 10, <laughs> it's 10 to 10. Is it, it's anything. like grem, Gremlins, is it? It's yeah. Like, after 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed you after 10 o'clock. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you could give this video a like, hope we've uh, been entertaining for you. Uh, Audible.com for audiobooks in the description. Patreon.com forward slash three times faster. Any, anything would be helpful just to keep the show, the light bulbs on. That would be amazing. Any final thoughts from you, Maxon? No. <laughs> I, I pretty much said everything I've wanted to say. Great. <laughs> see you guys. See you later. Now let's see if this light doesn't blow up.